Uh, graduating, it's a fantastic feeling. I can't even describe it. It's finally done. Four years, just done. Wow. <laughs> this is a dream coming from Peru. Um, and in Peru, they don't allow women really to become anthropologists. So that dream has been in my heart all my life. A lot more people were kind of like, oh my gosh, it's over, whereas I kind of feel like just turning the next page, ready for the next adventure. I was the last person on stage, so um, it was just kind of nice to be the last person and just end it all. My grandma made a lot of this, and um, my partner made a couple lays, and so it's a really big deal for us. The greatest part of going to Cal and getting a world-renowned, internationally recognized um, education, I think, is kind of the tight-knit community where you can really find your niche. To come all the way here and to receive open arms, it was, it said, I live a miracle. I, it's, this is a miracle. It was challenging. I think that's something I really appreciated about it, that it really pushed me to my limits as to who I thought I was to become more than what I thought I could become. I'm an international student from Hong Kong, and then I'm a transfer, so I don't know much many students here. So I have to um, work very hard to be assimilate into this culture, to learn about that, and then to, to, to be graduate. It was just so many good memories, and I can never give up this campus and always be a cow bear forever. The, the game-changing moment for me was going on an outreach trip to high school. And so working with um, other youth and getting, like, trying to get them into college was really like the thing for me. And it was really the thing that started to get me into education. And so um, anthropology was all about understanding where they come from and helping them to get into school based on like, what they need and understanding their situations. I went to a class and the professor started speaking something that really, this is what I was looking for. She's teaching really what I wanted. That was the moment I said, this meant that I mean to be here. Sophomore year, I joined the club on campus called Theater Ice. It was a performance group, an Asian American performance group on campus. And being, being Latino, immersing myself entirely in a different culture, in a different group, it taught me how to be a better leader, a better speaker, have a, I like to think, slightly more charismatic self. I like how the professor teaches. It's the, the way is special. Um, they guide us to think critically, uh, which is, I couldn't find it in Hong Kong. And then there's no right or wrong answer. I've definitely broadened my horizons, um, both academically, personally, professionally, spiritually. I thought I could be anything to begin with, and then coming to Berkeley, dealing with all these people, I just realized that I can be more, I can help people more. I want to work in education as an administrator. And I want to make sure that it's more accessible for students of all backgrounds, and especially people who are underrepresented on campus and just making sure that they can be able to come to college and have those resources. I want to volunteer in some developing countries, or maybe first starting from China, which is near to Hong Kong, and then maybe go all around the world. That's my dream. I want to be a teacher. Um, I want to help change the uh, community, especially the low-income ones. I'm, I come from one, from a very low-income community. I want to help influence the uh, next generations. I plan to head off to law school. I start um, this fall, hopefully to go into energy policy work or environmental law, um, as inspired through my coursework here at Cal. It's a good day when my dream comes, comes through.